Hello, it's Ms. Nicole of Legacy Lineage Online Learning in collaboration with Youth on Fire to present story time. Well, this video should be finding you on World Cultural Diversity Day. So I'm going to read another story that's about the market by the same author. Look at this. We got two stories that are by the same author. And who remembers what the author does? We haven't sang that song in a while. Do you guys remember what we talked about, about the author? That she or he writes the words. And sometimes the author and the illustrator could be the same person. And that means that the illustrator drew the picture. So let's see. I think... This lady is the same one who does her pictures too, but I can check. There's so much information that the book can tell you about. Hmm. Doesn't really tell me if she did the pictures, but this one says that there was an award given by the New York Times for a, the best illustrated children's book. So, oh, I'm excited about reading this on World Cultural Diverse Day market day so when before we started social distancing and kind of like staying at home some people go to the grocery store or the mall and then other people go to what's called a market and a market is more like an open area have you ever been to the flea market maybe with your parent or maybe a tax sale uh, where people are like outside and selling that's kind of like what a market is so we're going to get into this story I am reading, I am reading, look at me, look at me. Time to put the toys away and listen to what I say. Uno, dos, tres, eyes on me. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. This is the spine. This is the spine. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book and this is the spine and this is the spine. Nice job. Before we read, let's sing a song um, in honor of World Cultural Diverse Day. So I'm going to say in English and in Spanish, okay? And I'm going to do sign too because that's a language and they have their own culture, okay? Here we go. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hola, 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 y como estas? Yo bien, yo bien, espero tú también. Market day. Oh, look at these nice pictures. I agree, this book did deserve an award. Red rooster crows, it's early morn. Get out of bed, the chickens need corn. Can you crow with me? One more time. That's the best crowing I could do. Pull up some carrots, shake off the dirt, pack the tomatoes, tuck in your skirt. So these women, when they wear their long skirts, they can pull them up at the bottom and kind of create a clove basket that they can hold their vegetables in. Feed the red lobster, turkey and goose, lock the gate tight so they won't get loose. Load up the truck. We're ready to go. Oh, they have lots and lots of fresh fruit and veggies on their truck because they're headed to the market. Past the fields where the vegetables grow. And here is radish, carrots, tomatoes. Past the birds that perch in the trees, past the snakes that sun in the breeze. I'm not going to touch that guy. <laughs> if 
you didn't guess I don't like snakes. Do you like snakes? Past fish and frogs that swim near the bridge. <laughs> and it's funny because this looks like zucchini that's been painted like a fish and a ribbit frog. Do you remember our other story with Bumble and we counted the frogs? Were there six frogs when we counted with Bumble? And past the sheep that graze on the ridge. Look at all the sheep there. Let's count them. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. How many is ocho? Eight. Just the white sheep we counted. We didn't count what looks like could be cows and maybe a goat in the field too. And I see two snakes. We're all going to the market. It's in the town square. To buy and to sell, that's where we go. I love their motorcycle. Look at the motorcycle that they're on. That's a really cool picture. Here is the market where we work and play. And here they are standing outside with all of the fresh vegetables and fruits they have. At some markets, you can find like cloth, all different things, a variety of things that people grow and make to sell at market. Oh, my favorite. Got to point it out. Look at that delicious watermelon. Yummy. I love to go to the market and get that. It's a good kind because it has the seeds in it. Till the sun goes down at the end of the day. I think you'll see a, a nice picture too there of all the different things that people at the market are selling. Then we load up, chug over the ridge, go down the road, drive over the bridge. So now the motorcycle is traveling along with the van that they loaded up and whatever they didn't sell, they're probably gonna load it back up, take it back home and be able to make nice salads and fruit salads and all type of vegetable vegetable um dishes past the trees wheels turning fast past the fields we're home at last let's eat told you they were gonna eat it <laughs> did you guess that i would too up oh, and here again is some interesting information about the pictures i think how she made it parents if you want to pause on this part kids if you are watching maybe you could take it to your your device to your parent and just ask them to pause so you can see the interesting pictures and the information that they gave and you know what as i was reading this book and i talked about watermelon i looked down and i found something interesting i'm going to show you how much i love watermelon you ready on <laughs> what kind of socks do you have on are you wearing socks do you have your feet out and what's your favorite vegetable or fruit what do you like to eat well i'm gonna say adios zayonara hmm arrivederci let me see if i know another one um did i say adios i think i did and bye bye thank you for joining me tomorrow's story we will have a fun matching game and wrap up our plants and um flowers and cultural diverse week so join me again thank you